Victor, a seven-month-old thoroughbred, has a deformed right front leg. So Victor's got an angular limb deformity, so his, his, his legs basically aren't quite straight. Today, he'll have surgery to fix his leg and give him a shot at a racing career. But the operation alone won't be enough. Victor also needs to do a little shoe shopping. Steve Kraus, our uh, resident farrier, uh, and his team are actually gonna come over and they're just gonna take a quick look at his feet before we take him into surgery. So as I stand in front of this, if I see this rotated externally, looks like from the knee. Getting the right shoes is critical to Victor's post-op recovery. There's other things beside uh, the surgery that affects the outcome. Uh, the management, they have to exercise the horse, and the shoes have to stay on. They'll take anywhere from three to six, eight weeks for the leg to improve. Are we gonna do anything beyond trimming, you think, or? Uh, gonna... Yeah, he's, she's gonna have a screw in that right knee. Mm -hmm. But the left front is uh, clubby. Yeah, I see that, yep. Just like humans, young horses often have to wear corrective shoes to help with proper leg alignment. The shoes are placed on the leg to change the pressure on the limb so they twist the leg inward to help with that, because otherwise the screw doesn't do anything. Like most kids, Victor doesn't like the idea, and the colt begins to act up. Uh, he's a young horse, so we know that he hasn't had much training, not a whole lot of time sort of in hand, especially at that age, and they can um, be a lot more difficult to handle. Dr. Walker takes control so the exam can continue. Yeah, heels are too high, and she's stabbing that toe. Do you think she needs a toe shoe there? The doctor and the farrier carefully observe Victor's gait to figure out exactly what kind of custom shoe he requires. And he's I, sticking it. He's, he's landing on the, on the outside, outside yeah. wall and turning a little bit that right hind. And then coming toward you, that right front, see it's pointing out more, and the left is tracking toward you. Together, they come up with a plan. So we'll anesthetize them to put the screw in the growth plate. Right. And at that time, it'll be the right time to trim his feet. Yeah, we'll trim the feet when he's in induction. Then we'll see what I can fabricate and put together. And then in recovery, I'll glue it on. The next step for Victor now is surgery. 